I think we have an estrogen alert. This week, our estrogen alert goes to Debbie Wasserman Schultz. You heard it right here. We have got to uh, completely uh, talk about how Debbie has really shaped the conservative movement uh, over the past, you know, few years that she's been DNC chair. Again, Debbie, we're going to miss you. Mm-hmm. But, but here's the great thing. Just, just this week, she's having a conversation with one of the reporters and, and on Fox, and they're asking her about the statement that she's made where she's complaining about uh, uh, a particular uh, Israeli ambassador stating that Republicans were dangerous for Israel, you know, something like that. And and she got caught talking about this in camera, and she's telling Fox that she didn't say this. These are her words. I didn't say he said that, Wasserman Schultz insisted. And unfortunately, that comment was reported by a conservative newspaper. It's not surprising they would deliberately misquote me. What I always say is that, unfortunately, the Republicans have made Israel a political football, which is dangerous for Israel. <laughs> and Ambassador Oren has said that we can't ever suggest that there's any daylight between the two parties on Israel because there isn't. And that's harmful to Israel. That's what I said, and that is accurate. Except they caught her on tape. They caught what? her. Uh, they <laughs> went back and found. This is on Real Clear Politics. They went back and found the originals. So, in essence, she's up there saying that. She didn't say what they have her on tape saying. She's actually denying that they uh, quoted her properly. She's accusing them of misquoting her when it's on video. I just classic. Yes, I just think that's awesome. But then, but you got to look at the encouragement that that Debbie Wasserman Schultz has given conservatives. You know, it's like every time she speaks, she galvanizes us. And we sit there and correct her on the stuff that she says wrong or the stuff that she's pointing out that's wrong. You know, so if it hadn't been for her, would we be as galvanized as, as we have? That's you probably know. not true. But yeah, I suppose, yeah. That's probably true. I, I don't know if we'd, we wouldn't be as enthused if we had someone who was boring and just towed the hoe. But she tries to have her opinion and get it out there and be part of whatever they're part of. So. You know, you know, and and, and she's provided, um, you know, if there were some real comedians out there, she could provide them f- with a couple of years worth of comedy acts, you know. Yes. <laughs> See, you know, this when we first, first started. Time. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Well, this isn't the first time she's gotten caught flat out nope. lying about what she said and get, and gotten busted in it. Mm-hmm. I know, she keeps yeah, pulling the same the stunt. She is the gift that keeps on giving. Back when we started Tea Party in in 2009, uh, I was able to to call, you know, over 500 people to two different demonstrations when Nancy Pelosi showed up to town. So Mm -hmm. Debbie Wasserman Schultz will probably, you know, fade into the background and, uh, you know, who knows, maybe someday actually leave office. But there will be another. There always is. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm certain they've got them in training. (laughs) She's particularly entertaining, though. I mean, I have her email where she took the L.A. Times completely out of context. And then uh, uh, the white-haired guy on CNN. Which one? The white, uh, the young one. The younger okay. one with the white hair early. Yep. What's his name? Uh, I don't remember, but it's not Wolf. The other one. Yeah. It's like Minnie Wolf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, if you understood that, thank you. But <laughs> when he nailed her on, it was like, uh, no, because you're wrong. She's like, I'm not wrong. Because you need to look at the, the, the whole intent of the letter. But y- you misquoted the LA Times. Well, you just need to look at it's the, about the whole message of the letter. Because facts, they don't matter. Yeah, facts, what facts? Facts are hard. 